Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube space. My name is Kacha as always, and today I have a guest with me. I think you're actually like the official first guest. Oh. <laughs> Just. <laughs> the first sit down guest on this channel um she's my friend ned and so we've been friends for like a really long time yeah yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i just wanted to do this video um because this is something that um i want to talk about on this channel anyway but i think it's like i was saying like it's really good to have somebody else to sit down and sort of bounce off with yeah. but this is something that we've seen sort of going around on the net on the social media um and it's talking about pretty privilege Mm -hmm. yes anyway but before we get started talking about shining light she has a podcast i think i put it on this channel before <laughs> but yeah what's the name of the podcast loud it podcast yeah about as you really say it loud, loud it podcast mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so is it on spotify it is okay because i listen on apple, apple podcast Ooh. google podcast Go breaker oh, yeah. anchor yes i can't remember the rest there's okay, like yeah. six platforms oh wow that's amazing <laughs> okay i listen on apple podcast oh. well i know some people listen so I yeah. yeah so definitely go and check it out i have a podcast that i did with her we just recorded it yesterday three episodes anyway <laughs> content <laughs> yes <laughs> so according to you what would you say is your definition of pretty privilege it's when people just have an easier time in life wow. in general so when you're a beautiful person mm -hmm. by some media standard. standards mm -hmm. and you just get through life a lot easier mm -hmm. to be honest yeah. yeah so when you're going for a job probably are able to get it easier in some cases yeah. maybe not in all mm -hmm. um in school i did see in certain cases where teachers were you know favoring mm -hmm. <laughs> a few students a little bit more yeah and you'd be wondering you'd be questioning <laughs> there's molestation but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so that's how i see it in general yeah, yeah. okay and yeah. i think we talk about privilege a lot in this current society in the walk in the twitter environment mm -hmm. <laughs> because people who are not on social media like that it's they true. don't know all this terminology yeah, no. <laughs> but <laughs> most of the time when people talk about um pretty privilege they talk about it with context no sorry privilege in general they talk about it in context to white privilege but that's yeah. not what this is about and i'm gonna try and not even mention anything to do with not mention yeah. but like not even going to the scope of race yeah. or colorism because <laughs> that can get a bit interesting but i personally feel like and i think this is where i've kind of disagreed with some of the videos that i've seen about pretty pretty privilege mm -hmm. i feel like pretty privilege outside of the context of colorism yeah. race because we know how those things can yes. mm -hmm. yeah anyway <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> but outside of this context i feel like everybody can have pretty privilege yeah it's true it's yeah mm, no no <laughs> but, i tried and mm -hmm. then i thought of scenarios and no really no because let's say love island just something okay. that's current right now mm -hmm. no why no <laughs> <laughs> but i think in love island like there's some type of influence of race and colorism I'm even forgetting. Let's forget black people are on there for a second. Oh, just so we're on work. Okay. Let's be on work right okay. now. Just mm -hmm. the white people. I can see pretty privilege in certain ways. The way the man really? then treat them. Yeah, just little things. With the girls. Yeah. Really? I think you have to have a good personality for them to treat you in a nice way as well. But if you aren't as attractive yeah. as others around you at that given time, yeah. as well as your personality isn't really there, I don't yeah. think... I don't think they care so much. Really? Yeah, so that's where I feel it comes into play. Wow. Yeah. Because in my eyes, at the moment, if you don't watch Love Island, you might not know what we're talking about. But in, in my eyes at the moment, all the girls that are not, apart from Kaz, the mm -hmm. only black person there, <laughs> but all the girls, they're literally kind of similar standard, like in terms of beauty. Um, they're not, for me, they don't vary very much. Yeah, now. Apart from now. Faye. Sorry, love. <laughs> Yeah, but they are all... now. Yeah, I would have said when um, Lucinda was there. Oh, it was different. Yeah, you saw the I guys acting a bit different. Mm. They were patterning themselves a yes. bit more. So yeah, that's why I mean it. It comes into play as soon as it's like wow, that yeah. bombshell. Yes, then mm. you feel yeah. different. I feel like now, as you said, they're mm -hmm. all similar standards of bar one. Yeah. Um, yeah wow that's it. okay i feel like what what would you say is your experience of pretty privilege because i know what mine is oh i was so happy when i went to uni <laughs> i was just like wow <laughs> attention <laughs> before this point i don't know anything really no i was just there like oh my God. i was in my own corner i was just relying on being funny wow i was just like just study your book yeah. <laughs> be good at sports <laughs> just do sports and get 
through life. Really? That was it. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't really trying to look for attention because I knew it wasn't really coming my way. Really? Wow. And then uni came, I was like, <laughs> oh my goodness, really? Oh. Wow. It, I think for me, actually, it was probably the opposite. Really? Yes. <gasps> it was probably the opposite. Because all my life, like, I feel like my sisters, my cousins used to gas me up so much. Aww. And I look at my pictures, I'm just like, I look really terrible. Oh, that's really nice. Is it? It is. Because they, lied, they were lying no. to me. They were really lying. No. Mm. They gave you energy. <laughs> yes. But then everybody used to, I think when I was growing up, I got like a little bit too much of that. Oh. Mm, I don't want to say it was too much. Because I feel like then I never went through life with any, well, I still had obviously self, what's that thing about when you don't, you have like self, not self doubts, but like, you don't always feel like you're pretty all the time. I don't. Okay, I have my. Okay. I'm, I'm imperfect. It's, yeah, so I have my flaws. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's that's the English. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like, but most most of the time, like my sisters, my I remember one of my cousins, Auntie Joy. I love you so much. She always used to hype me up. Like yeah. whenever she sees me, I remember on her wedding day, I was like the flower, the oh, ring flower bearer, the no, ring oh, bearer. Wow, mm. wow. And then she, everybody was just like, "Wow, you're so fine." There like, go. Energy. Mm-mm. I feel it was like a bit kids too much. need it, and really? if I have kids. God willing. Yeah. You I'm going be, to be giving them energy because really? I don't feel like I got it enough. Mm, when I, I lived in Nigeria, I got it. Yeah, when I came that's here, what I'm I was like, mm, you're just, these people aren't really They weren't anything. giving it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I definitely got that a lot. Um, so I never felt that um, I was, I never, yeah, I never felt, but then I, I did. I don't think I obviously understood that in some cases that I could um, obviously have pretty privilege. I think I saw that maybe a little bit in school. Yeah. Um. Yeah. In some sense. Okay. But then I think I remember the first time where I really unlocked the pretty privilege is that I always knew in my mind, in the back of my mind, that if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to get something, yeah. I, I knew which which oh, thing. You know. I knew. Mm, yeah. I think I, a lot of girls know. Yes, you know the thing to do. So I remember when I was getting my um, Nigerian passport. So when I was traveling here, I was sixteen. Mm-hmm. When I was getting my passport for the first time, yeah. Um, I remember thinking to myself, I have to look really, really good Ooh. because I need favors from people. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I have to. Be, I was not those kind of favors. <laughs> I need someone to help my life. <laughs> yeah, but I was just like, I need like some type of, um, I need somebody like, because I think I was trying to do it like really, you know how they have their normal timeline yes. and I was trying to get it like before, Faster. beforehand. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, okay, let me, and that was one thing that I always remember in my mind. That's where yeah. I, I guess people saying pretty privilege is like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because I knew that I had to look a yes. certain type of way yes. to it, get a certain type of thing. It comes in handy in Nigeria a lot. It really from does. What I've seen, it, it really, really does. does. It really but does. But same thing here in terms of oh this is really bad Mm -hmm. but when you're interviewing for a new job yeah 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 yeah. we know you know you know what needs to be done (laughs) assignments i I had like a similar experience um in when i was was, um, applying for one of my placements the one that i did for (gasps) oh yes yes yeah because when I later then, I got the job, when mm-hmm. I later then was in the placement, my manager who did my interview literally told me verbatim that, oh, there was this girl who was in the, in the, cause it was, it was like a group, um, okay. not interview, but you know how we do that, assessment centers. Oh, yeah, assessment centers, centers yeah. yeah. So there was like this girl who was also with us and she was, um, she was really, really pretty and like she was blonde. I, th- I don't even think he, he said she was pretty, he just said she was blonde and then he said, and then there was you. <laughs> Moment of silence. Violated. Yeah. yeah. But then wow. he was like, but all the words that came out of my mouth didn't make sense. So no, like no, I literally no, no, no. couldn't. I've stopped listening. <laughs> I've stopped. Yeah. Yeah, he said that to me. Mm-hmm. Verbatim. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, you went through mm-hmm. it. And then but then it's like then I didn't know obviously I wasn't very well. I didn't I know it felt uncomfortable. Yeah. But I didn't know what potential like right. yeah what things yeah that actually meant yeah. but then you can see how if that girl was actually things come off her mouth that sounded nice because he said <laughs> there wasn't then you can see how she would have got the job she would mm. yeah oh yeah that's rude mm. but i see it every day yeah i'm in recruitment mm-hmm. so yeah really it's a thing it's wow a thi- but there's also anti-privilege so okay. when you're too pretty 
you also maybe yes. not get the job. Yes. <laughs> because mm. people yes. are like, oh, are you just marrying else? them yeah. because of that? Mm. Yeah. Even when you have shown and proved yourself, yeah. sometimes it doesn't mm. doesn't work to yeah. your advantage. Do you feel like personally, like in your job, mm. that you've experienced moments where you felt that you didn't get, or you did get some certain things because of how you looked at presenting yourself at a certain time? Presented, but that's goes down to the black side so i won't say uh, i won't talk I about that mm, i don't I think it was down to okay. pretty privilege okay. i think it was quota yeah <laughs> the racial quotas. because <laughs> i i feel like a lot of people who talk about pretty privilege on social media mm-hmm. i don't think they talk about enough how I, for me personally i in my day-to-day life i look a bit rugged <laughs> no, i don't care normal. normal yes i don't care too much about mm, i don't know i don't think i look i don't know i don't know but in my personal opinion i know that there's so many things that i can do in my life to like level up yeah mm. yeah same yes and i think that that's that's one thing that people don't talk about enough is that yes if we remove race and again colorism yeah <laughs> which are like two very significant portions of this conversation because yeah. i think obviously we know that for some people there's less pressure for them to look a certain type of way yeah their normal yes. is considered okay yes. whereas for some other people their normal needs to be elevated yeah so but i feel like if i like but then i don't know if maybe it's a bit people might think that i'm pretty mm. in my it's true. yeah it's true. but then in my mind i don't think that i unlock pretty privileges outside of race and colorism because yeah. i am a bit light-skinned as well yeah. so we have to get into yeah. accounts but i think that if there's some ways that i wanted people to do things or see myself in a certain way same, same way that i did for that um passport that i had to go and get mm-hmm. i can look do my hair do a lot of things a certain way to get yeah. that yeah yeah 100 yeah. yeah but i think maybe it's also a problem that you know i need to, i feel the need to do that mm. Mm. No. Yeah. No. I think everyone in this live, where you know your advantages, use it. Unfortunately, everyone else is using theirs. Yeah. So that's why exactly. I don't feel like you should feel bad. Yes. Because if everyone else wasn't yeah. and you were still getting, you mm. know, then fair enough. Yeah. But everyone's using their angle. Yeah. And true. If that's your way to get through life. Yes. <laughs> get do through it. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. Yeah. And yeah. I feel even with pretty p- privilege, mm-hmm. there's like facial aspect and then there's body. Ooh, yeah because yes. i think body also gets yes. or doesn't get jobs yeah oh yeah yes. yeah yes 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 so yes, i yes. feel like in wow, i'm not yes. gonna say which job but mm-hmm. i feel like in one of them mm-hmm. it's because i was wearing the right thing oh and i, I in what way I, I was wearing something fitted oh. so it showed oh. and i was just there like oh i didn't realize oh. until i got the job really and then i was like oh okay oh wow. that, that might have been something yeah yeah wow i didn't regret it but yeah. i was just there like oh yeah i don't want to do that again yeah though. yeah wow. that was the difference mm. so there's... i don't i have no shame in admitting that if i need to get certain things it needs to get done <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do yeah. and i and so i remember even one time one of my sisters like when she was going to get um to give visa see this is how nigerian the nigerian <laughs> government please help us that's suffering look at what your children are having to do to get visa and passport look at look at it but anyway my sister i think it was like italy i can't remember one of those countries and we're all saying how yeah yeah like where you go make sure she wore heels oh wow she okay, came she level. came with the Naomi Campbell. Wow. <laughs> She was like, oh, and she did get it. Oh, she did. Yeah, I believe. I think so. Yeah, because it works. It does work. It works. It does work. So how do you undo it when you know that's the way and it will happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel like you leveled up? going to uni i still haven't had coming my, out I, of uni i haven't had my glow up guys i'm waiting my problem I'm wait, is I'm i need really to waiting. go back and do another 2.0 <laughs> i need to because right now we're not doing it <laughs> <laughs> i'm waiting oh, for my glow up i had a I had a it wasn't a glow up uh-huh but everyone was seeing me glow so i was just oh. like maybe this is it oh i, I found it yeah i've unlocked something and I was just so happy. Yeah. When was this? Li- oh, uni. I didn't oh, really? want to leave oh, uni. I was just like, I feel, I yeah. feel very. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, I, in uni, mate, I was struggling. You're I was... lying. When you when? in your own head, maybe yeah. you thought you were struggling. Mm-hmm. I saw people looking at you. Really? Mm-hmm. When we used to go house parties, especially. Oh. Yes. Ew. Exactly. <laughs> just because you didn't want them yeah. to look at you. <laughs> It was that. But I think occasionally when I would when I would go out, yeah. then I go out. Yes. But my yes. normal, yes. and I think that's the problem with me in general because I can I can tell I look really right honestly 
when I go to you saw what I wore and came here when I came here the other day. I just look really reckless. I just I don't care. But then when I do go out, yeah. I go out. Yes. <laughs> and then people sometimes they're like, whoa, like there's a quite a bit of a difference there. I between. don't I actually don't think there's a huge difference for you. Really? No. I generally don't. Oh, wow. Um but bear in mind I haven't seen like I've seen you at work mm-hmm. or what you're wearing to work. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking back to uni mm-hmm. and I don't think there was like a massive difference. I think no, you know that's what I'm saying. To... I'm still waiting for my glow up. Oh. I'm waiting. That's not a good. That's not a positive thing for me that I still look the same going to <laughs> going to work <laughs> as I did going to. That's dead. I don't want that. I really don't. <laughs> I really, really don't. But one last oh. thing that I want us to touch on is like Instagram. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Instagram and you know Instagram is life at the yeah. moment. Social so media. It's not for me, but it's life for lots of people. Mm. But Instagram and how you think it potentially has affected. Um, because I feel like mm, I don't know where my standard of where this glow up level is came oh. from. Potentially Instagram. I don't know, but I think in my mind, and I, I always know that like if I want to look bomb, if I want to look amazing. Mm-hmm yeah i know what i need to do yeah. but i just can't be asked but like how do you think that you know in terms of pretty privilege how does you know being an insta buddy and uh, it definitely all of that... comes to a huge like interplay a yeah, lot really it didn't come from for me from mm-hmm. there it came yeah. way before so yeah. from something called pixo uh, so back in the wow. day when we were in primary school mm-hmm. going into secondary school mm-hmm. we had pixo um and we do like this person versus that that person oh. pictures and oh, people would yeah. vote oh, yeah and wow. I know people did it on MySpace as well but I wasn't mm. really into the MySpace mm. scene so that's where my version of like oh this is what you have to do to look yeah, like to that look so now way. I'm seeing it in, in like a more mass scale mm. with Instagram yeah. and the younger generation that's what they see first mm. and that's where there's a problem yeah I and see and that's where pretty privilege comes into play again yeah. that's why people are getting BBLs people are doing like nose jobs more yeah fillers more or mm. maybe it's just we know about it more yeah true they could have been doing it before but yeah. we just know but it feels they're doing it younger now yes definitely yeah. the age has been yeah, yeah. But, well well from the ones that I know anyway yeah exactly. yeah wow do you think there's a problem with the whole idea of leveling up and glowing up no 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 um because one thing i was just thinking as we're talking is like how maybe potentially you know when they say the male gaze mm-hmm. and how it's sad you know but like a lot of women like for me and i'm thinking of all the instances where i've had to feel like you know i you know need to look a certain type of way to yeah. activate that pretty privilege yeah. it's like it's always been for men yeah yeah. Um, people because, say it's not yeah but. it's always been normally like n- when i dress and do my own thing like when i'm like going out i yes. do it for myself because i want to look in my in myself in the mirror and if and when i do want to have that glow up whatever mm. that looks like i know that i'm doing it for myself okay and even i think that also affects that like, when people compliment me yeah if i don't like how i look nobody can tell yeah, me that i look I any better you. yeah i don't believe you yeah <laughs> so um but yeah i found that all of the all of the times that i've needed to you know look mm. a certain way is that um i i've been doing it because the person in a position of power has been a man yeah no no yes yes i would say 80 percent yes okay but then i also have the woman side of it in Mm. terms of i feel like women are more critical about the little things men see the whole package i see and then women they're looking at your nails they're looking at your hair they're Mm. looking at more in depth like what's really going on Mm. and you know some people don't get jobs because the way they do their nails oh yeah really yeah. yeah yeah that's the thing they're like oh did you see it oh oh nails yeah yeah little thing so oh that's what God. i mean and that's where wow. it's women usually mm. more yeah and yeah it's just little mm. bits of scrutiny yeah so i can't say it's just fully i see on the men yeah because i see it from the women too mm. yeah i think because i work in a mainly like male dominated yeah. world yeah and i don't yeah. the women who work where i work look like me yeah. not physically like <laughs> but like in terms of what we wear we yeah. just don't we don't care as well so mm. yeah obviously nobody be judging me like i think if anything i get the opposite okay and i found myself of having to be a lot more, ma- I was feeling like I needed to be a lot more masculine oh, to fit in, and for for me to even like I think I was gonna get my nails done last week, but I'm gonna do it next week instead. But like I always have that thought in my mind yeah. of like oh like if I get my nails done, I'm like being a bit feminine, yeah. and this is not a feminine world. Mm. So what does then that have to do with? I see. Yeah. I see. Mm. But I I feel in some ways that it can be a benefit 
um because i think of guys and i remember this especially for nigeria mm -hmm. i know that it's just such a shame because i think there's a bit of a is that the english dichotomy what? okay yeah. yeah because like it's a shame that there's so much that women can achieve that they have to look a certain way to achieve yeah. but then at the same time thinking of their account like no counterparts mm. they don't have that option no mm -mm. No. you don't have that um, option unless and this is why men also need to fight for f women equality because if you then have to have if you then have more and more women in positions of power yeah then maybe the men can you know it's true to a small thing you it's know true. you know you know open <laughs> yeah, shirts, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking please <laughs> Shorts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't wear shorts no. <laughs> yeah so i know that in nigeria i definitely do feel bad for them but whenever men then say that, i'm then saying it sucks that women have to do this yeah to get to, yes. to positions of power i prefer to, to be them me too I prefer, yeah me even too. though i see the struggles that they have yeah but it's to me it's like watered down it is yeah it is yeah even same thing at work as well like i've had i think i've told you about this i've had people i had someone who's made a comment about how oh like you must pay to be a woman here yeah because like i think yeah. they felt like i was getting some type of privileges from yeah. being a woman and which yes. is probably also the side of being of pretty privilege yeah but then i was just like do you know how like, uh, yeah. they don't try to see it the other way yeah but then i must admit mm -hmm. this is maybe not pretty privilege but mm. more feminine energy mm. has its benefits yeah and i've been trying to tap into it a bit more it's, it's, yeah it, it's I'm not, i feel like they're doing the most and then i've been trying a bit more mm. because i realized feminine energy does unlock something different yeah wow. and I, I want i want a piece of the cake yeah <laughs> i see what you mean you guys are all getting it um, i guess i've seen this from youtube mm. it's probably from youtube yeah I got it most from. the um lori harvey's of the world oh no i'm thinking more like tiara walker i don't know who that is oh tiara's small really <laughs> yeah oh. she's really pretty and very feminine mm. and i just like just the energy she exudes yeah and i, I also got it from the receipts podcast oh. when tolly was talking about it a lot more mm -hmm. and explaining like oh yeah she just she doesn't <laughs> she doesn't fix things at home uh -huh. she always gets another guy to do it and uh -huh. it's little things like that i'm mm. i think you are the same because How? i've now seen your 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 youtube videos yeah. me now, doing Bob yes Bobo. exactly <laughs> so you're doing it by Bobo, yourself yeah. <laughs> Whereas i want i want a piece of that like mm. someone else to do it, to come and do it yeah. every day me yeah doing it myself. i see i enjoy doing things by myself i feel accomplished mm. but there's that that i like mm. if someone else can do it yeah me my car yeah when i get a new car anyway yeah. i don't want to fix something yeah i see that i just want mm. someone else to come and sweep it away yeah but what if you don't have that someone else dad <laughs> <laughs> that's fair <laughs> she's gonna yeah. fly back yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I, I, yeah i can see that I, for yeah. me in, in so many ways i i don't want that i think we're, we're going to talk about this in another video yeah. make sure you watch that as well yes. but like um how when people because i remember actually one of the places that i worked before there were like probably like three women on the entire floor okay mm -hmm. say five women on the entire floor okay. men of probably like over 100 men yeah and i remember one of the women coming across and then one of the guys then saying that oh how she um she's so smart but look how she manages to still look so good oh yeah there's someone yeah. in my current office and mm. she exudes it so well yes. it's beautiful to and watch it, yes it is yeah. i wish i could be like that but i've got i've got life problems guys oh, you, you can <laughs> life is a bit hard you can really it's just upkeeping it it's the problem that's the thing yeah that's the thing every now and then like i show up and people are like oh yes yeah okay, yes. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but no one's got time for that my nails look ragged half the time yeah. like i just i my shoes are like you know i but i manage to polish them every now and then i haven't got time for that yeah but it's like taking that into i think i'm, I'm trying also to do yeah. that but um not necessarily for benefits i no, find it's yeah just, it's, it's a, a nice yeah, yeah different way yeah. of life yeah yeah just unlocking something different yeah, yeah. You've done this enough. Yes, I know. Let's try something else. Yeah. <laughs> but I think for me also, it's like, I, I'm so completely the opposite because I've definitely had a lot of the feminine and femininity comments mm. that I think I've shied away from that. Oh. And also to do with work as well, with okay. working a lot of men and feeling like, I can't be feminine in this environment. Yeah. So I'm now I'm trying to sort of accept mm. and acknowledge my femininity. Yeah. My is... thing is not because I've been in male environments, which mm. I have, but mm -hmm. it hasn't really yes. shook up for me. Okay. Um, it was more of 
I was always one of the boys. Mm, and so that's what I, I wanted see. to stop. Like, you know how um, Aaron said Kaz was oh, one of the boys? Gosh, I hate Disgusting. It. I hate it, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. Hate it. Mm. yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm tired. Mm. Sometimes, go. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, I know, remember. I yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't think any guy has called me one of the boys before. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever had that. I have the opposite where sometimes just like, can I be one of your boys? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of many. Yeah. <laughs> One of the boys. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I think that's it. I think I think yeah. it's done. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this um what did we just do? A video. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, definitely check out um Ned and Saw's podcast. Oh thank you. What Loud is... it podcast. Yes, on all platforms. And yeah. Leave comments down below what I you think. Yeah, yes. about this privilege. Yes. Do you think you're fine? You know, let us know. Let us know all of the benefits. I'm not even going to say it because I know some. You know city girls? Yes. I want to be a city yes. girl. I really want... I need a, a, at least give me one year. I want just... Let me just... Goodbye trips. Mm. Uh, shake my ass on a yacht. On a yacht. <laughs> Maybe not in a thong. Or something small enough, you We're know? close, Nella. Yeah. We're close. <laughs> but yeah, let us know if you've been unlocking some pretty privileges. If you feel like, you know, there's something that you've gotten because you're pretty or you yeah. look pretty, whatever standards and wherever you live um and yeah thank you so no, much tell us what's been working for you because i'm trying to yes, unlock more yes 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 we're trying to find different <laughs> ways of, of helping our lives because <laughs> it's a bit rough out here <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you somewhere in this space sometime soon